In the previous video, we discussed the role of T accounts in the accounting process. Now we are going to delve into actual examples by using a T accounts worksheet in Microsoft Excel. Welcome to Accounting Zero to Hero. We are here to help you understand the fundamental accounting concepts through simplified technical discussions and practical applications of the accounting standards. All of this to help you go from zero to hero. Now let's go back to the video. So if you watched the previous topic on how to create the perfect transaction worksheet, you will notice that this worksheet is also organized into the financial statements. Number one, we have the balance sheet and then the income statement to the right. Under each financial statement, we now group it into elements, assets, liabilities and equity under the balance sheet, and income and expenses under the income statement. And under each element, you will find the separate T accounts. Each T account are then detailed with the date, description, debits and credits, and totals as we discussed in the previous video. The links to these previous videos are in the description below. We will journalize six sample journal entries using this worksheet. Of course, you can follow the discussion by writing the T accounts in a sheet of paper, but whatever format you choose, you need to remember to organize your data properly to avoid mistakes along the way. One way to do it is to always check the accounting equation check here, which is linked to the net balances of each T account. This ensures that the accounting equation of assets is equal to liabilities plus equity is always correct. Of course, if you want to get a copy of this worksheet, I will try to include a download link below. Or you can send an email to contact us at accountingzerotohero.com. So let's start. The first entry is an initial investment. We debit cash for 100000 It's important to put the date and the description. We debit land for 25,000. We debit supplies for 10,000. And lastly, we credit owner's equity or owner's capital for the total of all the things that were invested into the business, which is 135,000. We'll also get an idea of how much is missing because our accounting equation is off by 135,000. So we find the equity section, owner's capital, credit is on the right, 135,000. We're done with the first entry. The second one is a bank loan. The company borrowed money from ABC Bank for $50,000. Since we are, our cash increased, we debit $50,000 on January 15. And then we credit our bank loan for the same amount. you have to check that the accounting equation is still applicable. The third entry, we purchased additional supplies amounting to $20,000. This means that our supply is increased because we received additional supplies amounting to $20,000. That is in April 29. And then we look for the Accounts payable T account because the purchase was on account. We didn't pay it in cash yet. The accounts payable is right here. So we credit to the right of amounting to 20,000. That's simply our third entry. 
you have to check that the accounting equation is always applicable. The fourth entry now, we rendered services for $350,000 on account to various customers. Since it's on account, it means that our accounts receivable increased because we didn't receive any cash yet from our customers. An increase in accounts receivable is in debit, so it's on the left. The date is June 3. Since we rendered services, we have to increase our revenue. So we have to look for the T account for the service revenue. So it's right here. Revenues increased through credit, so we credit to the right for the same amount. And the date is June 3. So that's entry number 4. Entry number 5, we incurred operating expenses on account. Which means that we incurred expenses but we didn't pay it yet. So our debit is going to be on the operating expenses T account for 55000 The date is June 19. And then since we didn't pay it yet, our corresponding credit will be on the accounts payable for the same amount, 55000 You have to see that our total assets are still equal to total liabilities plus owner's equity when you add all of those balances in all of the T accounts. Last entry is when we collected accounts receivable amounting to $150,000. This means that our cash increased by $150,000. The date is August 2. Then our accounts receivable decreased, so we're going to put it on the right side or on the credit side. 150000 That will be the last entry that we will be doing for today. Each of these net debit and net credit balances right here in these rows will eventually form our trial balance as at the end of the period. Once you finish posting all of the transactions during the year, your T accounts will look like this and your accounting equation are still balancing. Your total assets are this section, total liabilities here, Total equity, here, we only had an initial investment transaction. Your income section in the income statement. And lastly, the expense section is right here. I hope that through this worksheet and through the examples I have given, you will be able to visualize how the T accounts are contributing to the summarization concept of accounting from the journal entries to the T-accounts to the trial balance. In the next videos, we will cap off the discussion on the double entry system by revisiting the concepts of normal balances and contra accounts in the trial balance. So this is it for now. I hope you learned something from this video. If you want to see more similar content, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. See you!